So morning all, uh, again with RB and this morning we're out on one of the Euro 4 LXRs the last few in the country so this is the Euro 4 version and this is the one with the 5 speed box on it compared to the new LXR which has the 6 speed box and a different engine and after riding that uh, black and gold LXR, the Euro 5 you do notice that there's a slightly different tone to the engine this one is still loud but the uh, LXR Euro 5 has a really throaty deep grumble to it this one does sound like a 125 the LXR new Euro 5 sounds like a bit more of a bike but riding position very very similar and the one thing I've noticed obviously stepping back onto this this morning after ride testing that uh, Euro 5 version this seat is a lot lower it's definitely a lot lower and we check the spec it is 20 mil difference about an inch difference but this one you can actually if you're short legged flat foot it um, now I'm flat footed and my legs are slightly bent on the uh, Euro 5 version I'm flat footed but not a lot of room left to obviously stretch my legs or sit up in the seat so the Euro 5 version slightly higher in the seat as for the uh, the actual bike itself exactly the same and obviously with the Euro 5 suspension it's got the single mono shock to the rear six speed box on it and a totally different engine it's not the same engine it's a totally different engine extra half a horsepower compared to these ones but they ride exactly the same absolutely beautiful I do like the LXRs and I am a sports bike lover so there's not a lot of difference if you can get hold of a Euro 4 and you want to save yourself a bit of money do that but if you've got that extra £300 then go for the Euro 5 it's so much more of a bike and uh, I would say ride it first or have a look at it first before you make your mind up. The Euro 4 is brilliant. Well, what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks or so is put the Euro 5 version up against a modded Euro 4. Now we've got a bike blogger out there by the name of Dislox. <coughs> he's got a black and uh, red one. And then uh, he's had the uh, Lextech can added to it. I think he's got either a Lextech on it or a Black Widow but that is a brappy little bike and he flies around everywhere on it so go check out Dizzy's channel and uh, he has offered to put a road test obviously me against him 0-60 or about 0-45 to actually because it's a new bike we're just going to see which one actually pulls faster going through the revs and then uh, just ask him a couple of questions about is what's his fuel economy like what's the longevity of it like now he's had that bike a couple of years and he's had zero issues with it he does look after that bike it's his pride and joy but we're going to be having a, a little bit of uh, fun LXR versus LXR so that'll be coming in the next couple of weeks once uh, obviously the restrictions are eased and uh, he can manage to get out with me and obviously uh, COVID restrictions have eased just a little bit which means we can uh, now do outside meetings obviously the bike cafes are still shut until May so uh, we're scuppered there but it's not long it's only about another month to go until the bike cafes open and we should be getting out doing the uh, obligatory Sunday runs down to the Super Sausage to go and meet Chris and Gail and all the team down there I haven't been there for about uh, I say about 12 weeks now since the last video went up but it has given me a little bit more time to get on those uh, live streams and chat on the live streams with a couple of bikers all around the world but obviously if you miss out on the the live streams and you're watching this video I can give you some uh, some pointers as to where to go Jim Diesel he does a series called finally Friday watch out for Jim Diesel's live streams as well because we tend to hang out in his room uh, you've got his uh, compatriot in America Diesel's hog vlog and uh, Brad tends to do a little bit of live streaming as well all about the new bikes normally joining us in the room as well from Scotland we've got Zed Head Motor Vlogs and Zed Head's very very knowledgeable when it comes to Kawasaki's and especially the ZZR 1400 runs Gen 1 and Zed Head knows his stuff 
And if you're into YouTubing and you want to know all about analytics, he is the guy to ask because he knows all about those keywords, hashtags, analytics, and what to put in. So have a chat with Zed Head. The other couple of guys that we follow, obviously Bikes, Beards and Brews, Wibbly Wobbly Harley Rider, Sets of Pendants, and then obviously you've got uh, Burning Gas Hauling Ass out of Scotland. He's currently in Dubai at the moment, the lucky devil that he is. And then of course the big one from Canada. And it's a channel not to be missed. Normally every couple of weeks <coughs> we do a live stream. Or well, he does a live stream, we join in. And that is the Military Biker. And then a couple of shouts out to the smaller channels. Uh, Ty from Tennessee, Walt in PA, and there's loads that either hell's on two wheels, all Harley riders those guys, and they know their stuff, so as always I did a post on my YouTube feed, so go into my posts and all the new bikers that I follow and all the ones that I recommend now are in that post so you can click on most of them we've obviously been through uh, the feeds and a lot of those guys have disappeared off of YouTube now on the old posts that I use so we've obviously had to take them out because they're not vlogging anymore or they just can't be bothered due to lockdown but I tend to obviously follow the guys that are putting content up every week and I do watch a lot of YouTube at the moment so uh, have a look at their channels, check them all out. Now if you haven't seen the last couple of videos, we took out the uh, G5 Yaddy yesterday, the first of the electric scooters, following on to the impulse that we did. And then I got back on to the Cypher. Now I did the very, very first Cypher video on YouTube, the very first test ride of it. And it was only a short video, just to see what it's like not to early. Jesus, that thing was incredibly fast. And obviously, uh, Lexmodo sent me the tech on how to unrestrict it, and it was very, very simple. Hold the front brake, twist the throttle, turn the ignition on, hold it for five seconds, unrestricted. And the same to restrict it, you hold the brake, twist the throttle for low, and turn the ignition on, de and, and that puts the restrictions back on. So you can go between 30 or you can open it up to 45. Now we did the high speed run on that yesterday, and a lot of the Cypher owners have been waiting for me to put up that official video of the. Uh, the high speed run. We've got 44.45 out of it. So if you're scooting around town, ample. You know, that's loads of speed there. And obviously electric bike. It's no fuel, no servicing, no tax. Great bike. Now, that brings me on to the subject of are electric bikes going to be in? I'm starting to get a liking for these electric bikes, especially the big ones. And obviously Lexmodo are just venturing out into the electric bikes. There is rumours in the pipeline of something else coming out, but obviously we can't say. We are sworn to not to disclose anything. Um, and there's a couple more reveals. There's another one at the end of this month, 31st, 10 o'clock, which is going to be 31st of the... Uh, yeah, today I think. Oh, might be today. So we've got the reveal going up today. <coughs> of the new bike so we shall find out what that is that's at 10 o'clock but Lexmoto are putting out a lot of new bikes at the moment and I'm looking forward to seeing if it's anything like the LXR they've just launched happy days so a couple more bikes coming we can't say what they are I already know what they are but I can't say obviously for the purposes of disclosure or spoilers so watch this space it will be up on my channel and it'll be all over my Facebook as well what we tend to do, we tend to announce everything as it comes out, bang it up on the Instagram, flip it over to the uh, Facebook page. So, happy days on that. And finally, obviously, we're chatting, still chatting about these, uh, and what he's doing in front, I think he's knacked his engine. Quick shoulder check here, need to move. Now the electric bikes, obviously Lexmodo have just launched them, but there are lots of electric bikes on the market. Just pick my speed up a bit, didn't realise I was going so slow. 
So you've got obviously the likes of Super Soco, 50cc and 125 equivalent, they do the job. I think we're going to have one more blast down the dual carriageway, but we'll go slightly different route this time. We're going to go round and do a bit of urban while we're making our way back to the garage. Seven and a half miles in. We'll see where we're going. So Super Soco got bikes out in 50cc and 125 and then obviously the big boys of the bunch you've got the zeros so you've got DSR and obviously the ZS version there's loads and loads of those zeros out and obviously everybody rides a zero if you're into electric you're going to go on a zero so zero is a little bit pricey but obviously they are a very very good electric bike especially for urban commuting or going out or getting the range and a lot of the big bike bloggers have done the uh, the zero reviews. I've ridden one, it was alright, but I do, as I keep saying, I miss the brap of a can. And as we said on that Cypher video yesterday when I did it, if you remember the days of your bicycle where you used to attach a couple of playing cards on a peg so it would rattle on the spokes and make an engine noise, what it needs is someone to come up with an app. So if you've got speakers on the bike or a lot of the uh, the scooters have their own inbuilt speakers for obviously GPS. It wouldn't take long for someone to figure out how to sort of put speakers on a bike and make an app where you can put different engine sounds in according to how fast the bike's going. And then obviously if you could change the app so you could have a Ducati in there, a Kawasaki, a Honda, or a CBR in it, or sound of a Ninja, or even the sound of a Triumph on your app so you could change your exhaust note through them speakers. Wouldn't that be a brilliant idea? You'd be heard a little bit better, but it's just something to think about. Someone's going to uh, cotton onto it and do it. I'm not technically minded for apps, so uh, drop me a line. It'd be, it'd be good to know, you know, if you could do something like that. Because they have Bluetooth ability from your phone. Now obviously moving on to the back to the electric bikes, um, next one up are the Energicas. The Energica Ego, the Energica Eva, I've ridden an Ego. That thing frightened the bejesus out of me. I have never known a bike be so quick. Now obviously, uh, can't mention where we tested it, but if you happen to know that the hill on the way to home, we put it up that hill from the roundabout. So within 500 yards, I was just under the one. And then by the time I got to the slip road off for home, I was at 1.40. Now, obviously there was no traffic around, I did push it, and it was sort of late at night on a Sunday night, because there was no traffic about, and I just, yeah, no track to take it on, just to do it, but we had a little bit of a naughty naughty. It's not on camera for that reason, but I can tell you uh, what happened. And uh, that thing went like the absolute wind, that's got sort of the power of a H2. It felt like a supercharged bike, that thing really did shift. Obviously, electric motor, one gear, just pure torque all the way through. And the one that I'm really interested in, and obviously Diesel's Hogflog did a huge reveal on it, was the Damon Hypersport. And that thing is 200 brake, 200 mile an hour, 200 mile range, but it is a lot of money. Starts at about $34,000 which is around sort of around about 28 29,000 pounds goes up to about $40,000 for the premium all singing all dancing model would i buy one hell yes hell yes if something's going to give you 200 miles an hour 200 mile range that's more than my kawasaki does obviously my crackers round about 173 flat out and the downside is, obviously, because I've got the 200 210 jets in it instead of the 180 190s. And my debaffled can, which, my, which is why it pops and bangs, because she's pure tuned. I'm getting about 21 to the gallon out of mine. So on a tank, I can do just short of 100 miles. And on a sports bike, you wouldn't want to be doing 100 miles, because you'd be sore wrists, sore back, sore knees. So, and obviously that Damon Hypersport's got the electrically adjusted handlebars and pegs, they actually shift up and down so you can do riding mode or put it down into sports mode. Brilliant idea. And would I buy one? Hell yes, I would buy one. The turbine wine off of that is, it literally sounds like a supercharger opening up. 
So we're on the last bit of the mileage now. Obviously it's bank holiday coming up. One more day at the garage Thursday and then we are off Friday. I mean Saturday. But we're off again Monday. We don't get a long bank holiday at the garage because we are just too busy. So we are all in on the Saturday. But we get the Friday and the Monday off. I get to chill with Mrs Bond. Um, very, very big thank you to all the guys that uh, sent her a happy birthday on my Facebook page. So she really appreciates She's like, don't know who that is that's just told me happy birthday. That's one of the bike guys. Oh, tell him thank you. So she was uh, very, very appreciative. She did pop into uh, the live stream the other night when we were chatting. She popped into Jim Diesel's live stream, said hello to the boys. Hello. And she puts up with a lot of stuff that I do, obviously, constantly bike blogging, sat on YouTube every night. So this weekend, I'm going to spend a bit of time with the wife. Might get the bike out Sunday, have another run. I think time to start wrapping this video up. And uh, uh, finally, I've got to do this big, big shout out. I've left it to the very last position. Um, guy called Carl Dutz. Carl Dutz, so C A R L D U W T Z, ride out. Or rides out, or ride out, actually. Or rides out. I never remember his last bit, so just search Carl Dutz, you'll find him. He's on YouTube. And he rides a BM. And he. Uh, sent me a message the other day, oh I've just uh, mentioned you in a video, gave him some advice on what to do on his service, how to get it in the local BM dealer and how much they should be charging and uh, he's had his service done and he dropped me a little mention, he said oh this guy uh, you know, rides bikes all day, yes I do ride bikes all day, I'm not the huge bike blogger people make out the feet, I'm just a little humble me, I've only got about 1200 subscribers, you know I'm not a I'm not all oh, follow Rev Bob, he's got a million viewers. I'm not, I'm about 1200 viewers, so I appreciate every one of the comments that I get. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. But Carl Dutz gave me a shout out, so I would say go and give Carl a follow. He does some really good stuff and he joins us in the live streams. And Carl does some really good videos out on his bike, so thanks very much, Carl. It's much appreciated you dropping me a mention and, and vice versa, I'll drop you a mention. Much appreciated. Final little bit down the dual carriageway and then back to the garage. Just got to rack up about 12 miles on this. So we're at 10.9, nearly done. Ride circuit one, two, and three. I've done all three of them this morning. While I'm nattering away to you guys, it's going to probably be a really long video now. So, as always, what we normally say is if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up everywhere. Let's hit the subscribe button. Thumbs all over the screen there. Notifications. Hit that little bell. That will tell you when the next video is coming up in the series. And we are ramping these videos out about four a week at the moment. So I am doing a lot of bikes at the moment. As always, if you've got a comment, Tell me what you think of the uh, old LXR compared to the new LXR. Is it worth the £300 extra? I think it is. And then, uh, finally, the last little bit. Comments down below. If you are interested in a motorcycle and you happen to live near Milton Keynes, down here, bottom right hand side, somewhere over here, is the address for the website which is www.eclipsemotorcyclesmk Milton Keynes .co.uk pop on there that's all the website of all the bikes that we list there's about 41 of there at the moment um, and we're going to be stocking around about 60 to 62 bikes very very shortly once the new Lex Motors start coming in telephone number at the bottom 01908 643 603 and finally, easiest way to find all the media and all the stuff for the garage and my bike mover, Andy, who moves all the motorcycles for us. They are all on my social media page and you can find that down here. www.revbomb.co.uk Go to the social media page, 
links for my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and the YouTube. There's also a link to the Eclipse Motorcycles website, link to the Eclipse Motorcycles Facebook, pop on there, hit the like button on that, give the guys a follow, they'd appreciate that. And also down the bottom, all my sponsors, all the people that follow me, all the people that send me freebies, thank you very, very much. I'm starting to get fed up of Monster now because I keep getting freebies. I don't mind it. Keep sending them, keep sending them. Obviously, they, they said, oh, we can't send you a, a big load of stuff, but they sent me some cans, and then they sent me some more, and I've just had another load, so thank you, Monster. Oh, loving it. Hyped up on Monster all the time. Fizzy drinks, great for the body. Rush around like a lunatic. So as we make our way back to the garage, guys, whatever you're doing this bank holiday weekend, get your jabs in, be well. If you're out riding, ride safe. It only leaves me to say, in the usual end of subject, as always, it's a big goodbye from me.